Welcome to practicals under computer added engineering course and uh, uh, today we will see experiment number 3 that is plate with hole structural linear analysis using ANSYS workbench. So here is the problem statement and uh, uh, you all are requested to just note down the data for this problem. So let us jump to the ANSYS workbench. So this is how the ANSYS workbench window will look like. And under this, uh, I'm going to select static structure. Just you have to uh, press the left click button and uh, drag and drop it uh, in the main or project screen. So now uh, see that for engineering data, the green tick is already uh, available. If you want to change the material, so just right click to the engineering data and under edit, uh, see that uh, the default material selected is structural steel and for this problem also we have to uh, use the uh, same material or, or if you want to change it go in the engineering data uh, source okay which is at the top and uh, when you click it uh, see that uh, the material list is shown uh, and for the uh, for, from the material list you have to select general material okay under general material uh, just below that uh, the materials are mentioned okay and see uh, if you want to add aluminium so select add aluminium and uh, press plus button near to it okay and the material is get added okay so go back to the project so next is important next important thing is to model the geometry so under geometry again right click and select design modeler geometry okay uh, it will take few seconds to open okay so you have to select a design modeler only don't go in the space claim or ANSYS discovery okay so now the screen is open so let us check the units first for the problem see the units are uh, in mm so you have to change the units of this design modeler so to change them uh, at the top you will see the option as a units under that select millimeter okay now the uh, the uh, units are changed now we are going to draw the cross section on the xy plane so i am selecting xy plane and say uh, i am i am clicking to the right click and uh, i am selecting the option look at so the screen will orient to, towards me and under sketching tab okay under sketching tab select rectangle because the geometry is rectangular and uh, using two corners create a rectangle okay and uh, now we are going to give the dimensions so under dimensions tab uh, already generally selected keep as it is select the first horizontal line and uh, give h1 dimension select first vertical line again give the v2 dimension and select the axis and the horizontal line okay so that uh, we can uh, place this rectangle exactly in the middle of x y axis again select vertical axis and vertical line okay remember if you select the uh, horizontal line first and try to select the horizontal axis it won't uh, you will not able to okay now the dimensions are shown your, on your screen just uh, change them as per the requirement of the drawing so the horizontal is 100 and vertical is 50 so i'm changing it wait and uh, this is uh, vertical is 50 so vertical is 50 and uh, this should be 50 so that uh, the figure will be exactly symmetrical about x and y axis and this should be 25 now next important thing we have to create the two uh, sorry three circles okay as per this drawing okay so again uh, go in the sketching tab okay uh, draw and under draw select the circle uh, and draw one circle exactly at the center which is a bigger one and again in the dimensions tab select general and select that circle and uh, you will get the diameter as a d5 and uh, let us give the value of that diameter which is 15 meter 15 mm so again i'm changing the value as a 15 mm now again i have to create we have to create two more circles so under sketching tab draw and under draw circles so select uh, uh, draw first circle and again the second circle 
okay and again in dimensions tab select the uh, diameters okay uh, just i have shown you and again the values are displayed here so let us change them now the smaller diameters are of 10 mm so i'm changing them to 10 mm this is 10 again this is 10 and uh, see that the total figure is not uh, blue currently because there is something missing okay uh, and that something is the length of uh, or the distance of this uh, circle from x axis uh, sorry y axis again of this circle from y axis so again i am giving the distance so under dimension tab general select the uh, uh, center of the circle first and the axis again select the center of circle and the axis okay that's how you can create the dimensions again the distance is 30 and uh, in the figure it is 25 so i'm changing it to 25 25 and for this again 25 now the our figure is complete so go in the modeling tab under modeling we have to create a plate with certain thickness so under concept under concept say surface from sketch okay so uh, surface from sketch and the sketch uh, no, we have to select the sketch so sketch is under xy plane so select it first and then say apply okay and uh, here you can change the material or you can do it later and uh, put the thickness so let us see the thickness of this plate uh, it is not given so you can uh, imagine uh, as uh, 1 mm at least 1 mm you have to give okay and again select this surface right click and say generate okay that's how the surface is generated okay now close the design modeler so go in the file and close design modeler okay so it will come back to main window now here we have to model uh, this uh, problem so again model right click and say edit again ANSYS mechanical will open it will take few seconds so wait uh, the ANSYS mechanical to open the file first uh, it will take few minutes see uh, for modeling the geometry you have to go in the design modeler only okay uh, and uh, now the ANSYS mechanical is opening uh, till uh, geometry is visible uh, it is not completely open so don't uh, hurry to press any key or uh, uh, any option okay yeah now the geometry is visible yes so now uh, I'm going to generate the mesh so before generating mesh so let us add a few more things into this mesh so under mesh I'm uh, under mesh uh, right click say insert and sizing okay sizing so under this sizing we have to select this edges because I want the number of elements on these edges to be fixed so uh, select the filter as a smart select and then select the edge 1 press control button for this and for this to select the multiples we have to press the control button and in geometry uh, yellow color so say apply we have to click in the geometry and say apply now uh, in the type we have to change the divisions uh, sorry change the option to number of divisions currently it is showing one so i am uh, putting it at least minimum to 18 okay so see the the uh, the uh, divisions are shown on the screen and then i am going to say mesh and generate mesh now it will take that 18 uh, elements and will create the mesh around this 18 still this mesh is not that much good but it's okay uh, for education purpose next uh, in the structural we have to uh, uh, put uh, the support and the load so insert and i will say uh, fix support and uh, the fix support is at this edge so i'm selecting this edge right hand edge and say apply okay now the edge has been fixed and again in the structural say insert i'm going to give the force okay and the force is on this edge let's check once again no force is at the uh, opposite end 